What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about the different ways to get the best benefit out of next week's events. Mainly the pay to win artifact chest is what we're going to be talking about now. For free to play, there actually is a chance to get two pay to win artifacts and some of the new uh, Tree of Origin materials as well. It's going to be a little bit difficult to actually get to, but it's not out of this world depending on how many Aurora stars you have saved up from previous events and if you've cashed them in uh technically you get like three pay to one artifacts just free if you have enough aurora stars one from the actual fantasy factory store event the other two from the special chishi event so let's go over the bunch of different ways and then we'll finish it off and talk about kind of how the spenders can get there with the 100 dollars special value package this week so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know what you guys are going to try to do on your account this week hit that subscribe button let's get going <laughs> So really in this event, there's only two image files we need to reference here. And this is going to be the perfect match and mainly the love quest here. Because uh, the perfect match, of course, the goal is to get 45 of those love threads that you get from the natural silk. Pretty e easy conversion. 10 natural silk are going to equal one love thread and you need 45 of those the other rewards in this event are very good i mean these guys are very very good honestly like really good rewards you can even come away with multiple of these and like i was talking about let me jump back over here here we go uh technically if you're going to be spending some of your a lot of your roar stars you might actually be cashing in on this too or this it's a little pricey you probably can get like the nine star puppet in this one so it's pretty solid but let's start out with the easiest option so we are going for 450 natural silks and basically turning that into 45 love threads so this is the chart you need to be aware of option one in my opinion is going to be pretty much like fully free to play fully lazy mode uh you're not spending any aurora stars you're only spending your honey stars from this event and that's not even counting if you get stars from a jigsaw puzzle which would make this easier so we'll just go with the standard just say you get 400 stars jigsaw typically gives you like an extra one to 200 We'll just go with the standard 400 hunting stars, zero Aurora stars spent. Again, all these breakdowns are going to be in the description down below and maybe even in the comment section. You're going to get 20 points from the Tavern Quest and 30 points from getting five star heroes. So that brings you to 250 total. Now that means you do need to come up with 200 more silk threads essentially and you're going to get those from the profit orbs. So 200 profit orbs is just over what? It's actually two and a half loops. You'll probably want to finish it out. So in reality, you would be doing, you'd, you'd be getting a few extra silk threads. You'd want to do a full three loop with 20, 240, but 200 is all is necessary. So if you guys are like barely trying to scrap together resources and barely get this event done, it is possible. Now, the other option is if you don't have like any profit orb. So we're going to go with like bare minimum. Let's say you do use some of your Aurora Stars or you have a Jigsaw Puzzle and you're able to get 300 aka spend 600 of those stars in the event. That means you're only going to have to spend about 100 Profit Orbs. So optimally, I think if you do have the Aurora Stars and you're really lacking on Profit Orbs because of course we've had a couple Profit Orb events in the past couple months, I would probably say do like 80 Profit Orbs and try to spend 320 so... 640 honey and aurora stars i think that would be optimal that way you're getting one full loop of profit orbs done and you're not like spending additional ones into the next loop and then wasting those resources so that is one option uh, i do think the most optimal way to do this is to do it as far as not like what is the best easiest way to do this or this is just do two loops of profit orbs if you have 160 profit orbs i think that is the sweet spot because then you're getting 50 points from the other two that brings you to 210 meaning you need 240 additional silk threads to get the rest of those love threads or natural silks to get those love threads that means you're gonna have to come up with 240 points from here, 480 honey and aurora stars. I don't think that's gonna be very difficult. 
I think that is pretty achievable for everybody. So option three that you guys will see down below is probably the most optimal way of doing this without spending too many Aurora stars or needing too many Aurora stars. Plus, if you have a jigsaw puzzle coming up in Fantasy Factory, that could be pretty beneficial to you guys. So 240 points from here, you get the 20, the 30, and then you're going to do two loops of 160 profit orbs. So that's not too bad. That'll get you one full loop of these rewards, which is pretty good. Now, there's another thing I want to talk about, and that is there's potential for you to get two of these loops done. Uh, and getting that second loop done is also going to give you a chance at uh, Tree of Origin resources. So whether you want the Essence Sublimation, whether you want the Spiritual Essence, or you want one of those Core of Origin chests, you can get there as well, as well as getting two chests from here and maybe even one from the Fantasy Factory event, depending how it breaks down. Now, how are we going to get there as a free to play? Well, you're going to need to do all 400 profit orbs, which is five loops of the event. You're, of course, going to need the 20 and 30 points from these two here, bringing you to 450, meaning we need 450 more because that's that's one loop right there. All this is one loop. You need another full loop from here. You're not completing the entire event out so don't worry about that but what you are going to need is 450 points from here meaning 900 honey and aurora star so even if you like optimally have a jigsaw puzzle and get like 500 ish you're still going to have to have 400 aurora stars banked up that you can spend in order to get this but what that means is you're going to be able to complete this loop twice you're going to get additional heroes and on top of that you're going to have more chances to getting silt bags and all that fun stuff down below so that's pretty much the free to play breakdown let's go over the couple options i have for spenders out there because there's one really important pack this week that could affect what you spend and what you save so for spenders out there this is going to be the big difference yes you're getting a few more of the sweet lollipops you're getting the smash button but really this is the only way of getting direct love threads in this event and this is a 100 usd pack just to remember so it's a pricey pack but you'll notice in the others it's just the sweet lollipops there's no special event currency here it sounds like you can only do three loops maximum anyway so if you're just going for one loop of this like, or sorry, one loop of this right here, the perfect match. This is going to be very easy when you already have 15 of those love threads, meaning you only need to come up with 300 natural silks. Uh, literally, if you have 250 points here for 500 honey stars, roar stars, get the other two quests done, the tavern and the five star heroes, you're done. That's your 45 love threads that you're going to need because you only need 300 from here. Very, very simple. Uh, not a single profit orb has to be used if you get the 100 USD pack. Again, that's if you feel like purchasing. I know a lot of people are not wanting to purchase for this event. Uh, I feel like we'll see a lot of skins floating around, though, to be honest. I, I really think so. At the very least, I feel like people will get the, the special pack, but maybe not purchase the big normal packs to buy out the event. So that's option one. Option number two is, of course, going to continue to purchase out this guy right here. Uh, that's going to be the big important one for the 15 reds it makes other other things a little easier so if you only do like the bare minimum honey stars which is like the 200 ish range uh, which you probably should be able to do more anyway because you're getting sweet lollipops you'll have to do like 50 profit orbs it's really not that much getting one loop done if you're getting that pack is ridiculously easy this week but what we can talk about is if you're going for two loops as a spender. Again, I'm still going to say you're going to spend that $100 pack because those 15 love threads are kind of important for this. If you want to get two pay to win chests and you buy the 100 USD pack to get those 15 love threads, you're going to have to do about 360 profit orbs, finish out these two events, and then on top of that, you're going to need about 500 honey aurora stars for a total of 250 more that'll get you to the 900 silks well actually i'll get you to 750 silks and then you're going to get 15 of the love threads from the pack so let me know what you guys think there's tons of different routes to get rewards uh honestly i feel like there's more <laughs> more variety in these events lately of not needing to have like all the profit orbs in order to get the event done i like these other events like honey stars and uh imps adventure and all these other ones they're throwing in to make it a lot easier to get there so again check out the description and the comments down below i'm gonna put all those breakdowns i just told you guys so you guys can get a nice easy spot to check them out hopefully you guys enjoy this one this event looks pretty good so far let me know if you're gonna spend even if you're doing no purchasing i feel like a lot of people are gonna are gonna get the pack i really do because uh it's, it's it's the first skin for the hero and it adds a lot of power to the hero so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time